2015 First Alert Weather Forecast. Welcome back. Time is now 6-11. March certainly brought some interesting weather to Eau Claire, ranging from that 10-inch snowfall last week to a high of 70 back on the 3rd, which that is actually now the earliest on record that we have hit 70 degrees here in Eau Claire. Our lowest temperature in March was 10 degrees back on the 23rd, so our average temperature finished out at 36.4 degrees. That puts just over 5 degrees above average on the month, and as far as precipitation, it was a great month for that. We picked up 3.14 inches, giving us a surplus of 1.17 inches, and we had quite a bit of snow. Again, most of that coming last week with 17 inches. As you, uh, as you can see, we were above average there as well. Now that we are turning the calendar over to April, let's talk about those average highs and lows because those continue to increase while our average high and low respectively today are at 49 and 28 by the 30th. Those are going to be up around 64 and 39 respectively, not to mention we're still going to have those later sunsets. It's at 734 today. By the end of the month, we're at around 810 and our precipitation average goes up while that snow average will be coming down. As we do take a live look from our Nicolay Bank Hastings Way Skycam this morning, this is a very pretty sunrise. Leanne said it almost looked like a painting, which I do really much agree with her. Uh, quite beautiful out there. We're at 30 degrees here in Eau Claire. A bit of a wind chill, 25, and we do have a northeast wind at 5 miles per hour. We are mostly clear for now, but notice off to the west we have quite a bit of cloud cover, even some moisture across the Great Plains. And this is associated with a storm system coming out of the Colorado Rockies. That's going to traverse the central plains throughout the day. So therefore, we're going to have increasing cloud cover turning mostly cloudy. And I'd say by mid to late morning, we'll start to see some of that moisture working in in the form of rain showers. And if it's cold enough, we could some, see some uh, wet snowflakes. Most of this is going to stay south of I-94, but I do have a small chance of at least some showers in the Chippewa Valley as there are some uh, disagreements with how far north this band of precipitation may make it. So we'll have to watch that closely, but again, the further south you get, the better the chances are for some of those rain and wet snowflakes. For tonight, we'll stay in the clouds. I do think much of the precipitation is exiting. However, as we head into tomorrow, we're going to stay overcast, and there is going to be low pressure uh, sitting over the Great Lakes region. Depending on how far west that may wobble, we may see some precipitation start to what we call retrograde, or move back to the west, and that may bring some additional precipitation chances uh, to parts of western Wisconsin. This is something new that the models have introduced, so we are going to keep a close eye on that. And then for tomorrow night, it does appear we'll start to dry out, but we are going to stay in the clouds for your midweek. As far as rain uh, fall for today, not a whole lot, up to a quarter inch down across our southern areas. Maybe some locally higher amounts if any of that rain does persist for a longer period of time. We're up to around 47 this afternoon, upper 40s tomorrow. It will be windy on Wednesday, a high of 45 before temperatures climb late week and then the next weekend with a high at 60 by Saturday. Today's Sunshine Award goes to Sandy Barnett from Jackie Reisner. Jackie writes, Without Mrs. Barnett's love and dedication, my boy would have never gotten out of the rut he was in when starting at Flambeau. With her help, he has successfully completed high school early. Our family will be internal, eternally grateful to her. If you would like to nominate someone for the Sunshine Award, send us an email or head to our website at weau.com.